all right guys so today we're going to consider how to write a simple program on fortran so um the program we're going to consider today is the first program you're expected to write as a programmer which is hello world so basically open a new file so when we make a new file we select free fortran format so we'll select the free fortran format once we do that the next thing we are going to do is um, to save our file um, with the name we want it to be on so once we are going to save this one as hello world so once we save the file we can start our programming now remember that perhaps saving at this point is not too necessary because you can always save after writing your program so we'll start with program hello so the next line of the program we're going to write is the implicit none which in this case is not too necessary because we can neglect it we are not writing a program that will use variables and constants so the next line of code we are going to write is the um, print statement so this is what we want our system to display on the screen in this case it is hello world now also remember to add your quotation mark to this so that the computer will recognize and display exactly this when the program is being run then the last line of code is end program program name which in this case is hello so write end program hello so the next thing we'll do is to save the file and then we build and and run the program so basically once we start to run the program here is what we will have on the screen of our computer so this is what we'll have hello world so which means our program was successful so let's consider another phenomenon here what if we didn't want to use the print statement can we also use any other thing yes we can use the write statement here so the print and write statement function in like manner so what they do is to actually um, we use it to impute whatever we want to show on the screen of the computer when the program is being run so when we put our write statement we we'll save and then we build and run so now we've built the program you can see the info here compilation blah 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 so um we'll start to run the program again so let's see what our output will be like so this is our output hello world hmm seems so interesting right so okay let's imagine we didn't put this inverted comma of quotation let's imagine we didn't put one of them let's see what will happen so we've removed one and we have saved the file so we'll build and see what will happen so let's see here is where we have compilation failed why did the compilation fail because we have an error in the program so there's supposed to be a quotation mark there which is not there okay what if we don't want to use just this inverted comma to quote this can we use the main quotation that's double inverted comma let's see if it is possible to use it and still run the program successful so all right so we'll save our file 
and then we build hmm. so compilation and linking completed so which means it was successful so let's run the program and see what we we'll have here yeah, we have an output here hello world so you see that all right guys this will be the end of our tutorial for this class so if you enjoyed our video please like share and subscribe still your friends equals class